The people are real. The cases are questionable. The rulings are definitely fake. These people have COVID-19 disputes. Both parties have agreed to drop their complaints and have their issues resolved remotely here in Kyla's court. They've submitted their disputes through our online forum for a resolution from Judge e. Kyla. And now here's Judge e. Kyla. All rise. Kyla's court is now in session. Thank you. Be seated. Today, after a COVID-19 hiatus, we're adjudicating one more dispute here in Kyla's court. Karima Saad writes to us on Twitter saying, I have a submission for Kyla's court. What would you say to a restaurant patron who sits on a patio, orders brunch, only for there to be a torrential downpour before the food is served? Do they still need to be paid? Should they still be allowed to dine inside? In addition to this inquiry that is being brought to Kyla's court, we also have an application for intervention from at James D. Bowie, uh, who writes, there is no contract between a patron and a restaurant in which they eat. The Criminal Code of Canada does not speak to the law of contract. And he sent me a message indicating that he moves for oral argument on the restaurant question, estimating his time at 90 minutes and asking to appear live by Zoom, books of authorities, and motion materials to be filed in the case. I'm going to first deal with the intervention application. Interveners are only permitted in Kylo's court for the entertainment and sheer delight of the court. I don't see how 90 minutes of material on the law of contract is going to help me be entertained. And so as a result of that, it's not really in the interests of Kylo's court to admit the intervener. As a few minute long YouTube series, it's not in the interest of the viewing public to admit Mr. Bowie as an intervener. And the court has already advised Mr. Bowie that he has the right to file a 90 second clip and email it using our submission form, and he's failed to follow through on that opportunity. It's clear that the intervener's position is not serious and therefore is not likely to result in a successful application for intervention or be of any assistance to the court. So on the first issue, whether James Bowie, at James D. Bowie, that's his Twitter, Twitter handle, whether at James D. Bowie can intervene in this case, I rule no. Second, returning to Ms. Saad's question. If you order food at a restaurant, the food is in the midst of being prepared, and then a torrential downpour that you couldn't expect kicks you off the patio, you absolutely should be allowed a table inside. If there are no tables inside, then staff should try and coordinate to get you a table set up to deal with your issue right away. If people are already waiting to come into the restaurant, you should bump to the front of the line and have a table as soon as it's available. The restaurant should accommodate you. And if the restaurant's not going to accommodate you, then they shouldn't charge you for your food. You shouldn't have to pay for things you don't eat. That's like going to Church's Chicken, ordering a gravy, and then not getting your gravy, which happened to me today. So, Karima, the answer is yes. You should be entitled to go inside. And no, if you're not going to get your food, you should not be required to pay for it, even if they've already made it. Taking brunch, Eggs Benedict to go just ruins the entire experience. The restaurant shouldn't force you to take your food to go simply because they made it and they're unwilling to accommodate you in a comfortable seating position. That's my ruling. Tune in for another exciting episode of Kyla's Court. Kyla's Court is not a real court. All submissions are the express property of Kyla Lee Heavy Industries and Lee Pharmaceuticals, a division of Lee Shipbuilding and Dredging.